welcome to my new video. I'm Nitsa and today I'm going to be doing abstract makeup, like a crazy makeup look that I'm just going to do for fun in my quarantine hotel. And this is not just any regular quarantine, like this is actual like government facilitated quarantine. I'm not even allowed to leave the room at all for the next two weeks because I just landed from Berlin. So without further ado, I don't want to blabber. I already concealed my lids. I also did this and this <clears throat> to moisturize. I'm gonna start with the eyes. I have some new brushes that I'm excited to use. I'm gonna do a really, really colorful thing up top and then I'm gonna do a cut crease and then I'm gonna do something at the bottom as well or like right here. My nails are a mess. I don't have a nail polish remover right here with me so forgive me please. Um, I'm also filming this on my MacBook. This is like a MacBook tutorial. I don't know if anybody does this but I'm doing it because it's just the easiest way for me and I don't wanna, like my camera is not good so I don't wanna risk filming something and then it not being in focus. I just want to relax and do makeup and take my mind off of everything because everything sucks right now. It's just um, a bit hard for me to not feel bad right now uh, for my country and for the whole world and yeah I'm just gonna do my makeup to take my mind off of it and not even think about it and then just cover myself in some zebra print clothes like a day. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna take a lot of photos. Y'all know. Y'all know I'm gonna spend at least the next three hours taking photos. Basically, what I want to do is a really, really nice cut crease that I'm hoping I can do. I've never really done like a good cut crease. I've done it a little bit, but like not really. So today I just want to do it fully. I have all of my palettes and I, it's gonna be super colorful, obviously. It's just for fun and I don't feel like putting out another 30 minute video that no one's watching. So I'm just gonna speed up through the whole thing. So first I'm taking this really neon yellow shade and blending it all the way from my inner corner way up to the crease. And then just packing more and more to make it more opaque. Next I'm gonna take this green neon liner to act as a base for my shadow and I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. Oh hi pigment! So I'm packing on my green shadow and then going back in with the yellow to sort of blend it together and finally we're gonna do the uh, purple which I again pack it on with my finger and then blend it out with a clean blending brush and then I just go back and forth doing the same thing with the same shadows. So I'm taking concealer on the back of my hand and picking it up with a flat shader brush and then just going right ahead and cutting the crease. Um, this is my first time doing it and I mean it looks hard but really it isn't that hard so I encourage all of you to try it. So I just carve out the shape of my crease. Oh my god. What? Why does it look so good? What? I'm shook you guys. Okay, so the next step is really important. I take a big clean brush with a white shade and set the concealer because otherwise it's going to crease. And then we're going to go into the liner, which I'm going to do a hot pink in the beginning and then finish it off with some sparkly blue. I just snapped. I literally... Oh my god. Okay. Because I really want the edge of my liner to be super defined, I go back in with a liquid liner to finish it off. And then I just touch up on the inner corner. There's this saying that my friend taught. I don't know if he came up with it, but it's Ich bin geschuckes. It's like I'm shook in German. Um... I just snapped y'all. So we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other eye. Start with the yellow, then add the green, 
then comes the purple obviously and i don't know why i'm doing it with my fingers it just felt comfortable in the moment um but yeah then i carve out with the concealer and that's basically it for the cut crease then i add my liner and that's it just kidding then i take a lower lash line brush and put on some sparkly blue shadow over there and then i go into mascara on both of my eyes obviously we go into brows i'm taking undertaker and mixing it with hot fudge to create this like dark bluish brown shade and just fill in my brows and then i take cullinan to highlight under and over my brow bone and the only thing we have left is just the face so i just do my regular old face that i do all the time no foundation, just put on concealer, blend it in with a sponge. I feel like you guys have seen this already, but I'm still going to walk you through it. Then I take Wealthy and set my whole entire face with it. Literally, like, I look so good right now. Wow. So I'm showing you the difference of one side with contour and the other without. Uh, I'm contouring using the shade Hot Fudge from the Mini Breaker palette. And then I'm going to blend it out with a regular sponge. Then highlight my face like a maniac using the sleek makeup palette. And now we're going to go into blush. I used to do both of them or I used to only do the pink. Lately I've been loving only doing the um, orangey one. It just makes me look so cute. I obviously love it on my nose, on the tip of my nose, not the whole nose. I blend it upward and kind of blend it in with the... Um, contour and highlight to kind of make it seem like one. I really have overcome my fear of blush and now I just do crazy blush because I just love it. For my lips, I'm going super nude with obviously some gloss on top. We are done after an hour! Wow! Did I forget something? Should I do something extra? I was gonna do like these little things that I have, like these goggly eyes or like some glitter uh, sticky tape that I have. Or not tape, but like some sticky... Whatever, you get the point. But um, that was it, you guys. This is my final first attempt at a cut crease. This eye looks much better than this one. I kind of fucked it up right here, but it's not that bad. And... Um, I'm so happy with it. I'm gonna go change out of this huge t-shirt, which I really love. But I'm gonna change to something more fancy and like take photos, put on some earrings maybe. And yeah, it was super fun. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you are all staying home. If you can, of course, please stay home. And we're gonna get through this together and everything will be fine soon at least that's what i keep telling myself and um yeah love you guys me and squishy are gonna say goodbye now and see you on the next one bye you guys i forgot to mention to subscribe to my channel oh my god um follow me on instagram for more looks like this and um yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing i love you all have a nice day and life <laughs> see you on my next video bye